Hi, my name is Alok and I welcome you for this uh, short introductory video module on uh, Kanban system for manufacturing excellence. This uh, five minutes video module will uh, help you to understand uh, eight important learnings that we are going to discuss in detail in the upcoming full-fledged uh, workshop that we are going to conduct next week. And uh, the things that we are going to cover, the first thing we'll be talking about is uh, what is a Kanban? And in this session, we'll be uh, talking, uh, we'll be focusing on what are the different type of Kanban, like what is a production Kanban, what is a withdrawal Kanban, and what are the different sections or activities uh, that, that uh, needs this kind of Kanban. Besides that, we'll talk about some uh, special Kanban, like ex Express Kanban or Emergency Kanban or Throw Kanban or Job Order Kanban. The second thing we'll be talking is uh, when and where to use Kanban. So uh, before implementation of Kanban, uh, I must uh, tell you that uh, we have a mindset that Kanban can be implemented only in uh, automotive industry because it started uh, from automotive industry. But Kanban is a tool. It is a very strong uh, philosophical tool that will help you to streamline any of the activity that we are uh, doing. Uh, be it a series of complicated process or a short process or be it a cyclic or non-cyclic or time dependent or time independent activities or be it a process where uh, there are a lot of stakeholders with a different level of uh, responsibilities associated. So Kanban can be used wherever there is an activity uh, per se. And uh, in manufacturing, when you talk about manufacturing, Kanban uh, are predominantly used in production, but beside production, uh, it can also help you to uh, streamline your activities in HR activities, in maintenance planning process, in finance and account activities. If you are a NPD professional, new product development professional, then it can also help you to uh, improvise the NPD cycle. If you are into project management kind of work, then it will also help you to smoothen your uh, you know, project planning system. Besides that, uh, we also uh, think that uh, Kanban is, are not suitable for a job shop or job work kind of activity. Uh, but in, in the upcoming session, we'll be giving you some examples that how uh, the Kanban can help you, specifically help you or it will, it, is, uh, it will increase the effectiveness of your work when you use it in a job work kind of uh, activity like ship building or maybe aeroplane building or tank building or heavy capital equipment uh, manufacturing system. The third thing we'll be talking about on uh, why Kanban initiatives fail. So in this uh, topic, we'll be sharing some of the example that how some of the Indian manufacturing company started very aggressively uh, for the implementation of Kanban, but after uh, five, six months, why they could not sustain the Kanban and they scrap the Kanban. So this uh, failure story will give you some ideas that uh, how to, if you want to implement successfully, then you must remember the failure, failure stories. Uh, the fourth topic we'll be talking about some of the best practices, like uh, there are people involved, there are different process involved, there are also some systems. So how to integrate the people process and different systems to achieve a successful implementation of Kanban. Uh, we'll, on our fifth talk, topic, we'll be talking about uh, the different benefit uh, of Kanban, like how if you want to implement GIT, then how it will help you to implement just-in-time activities. And uh, the sixth thing we'll be focusing on, with some example, we'll be focusing on how Kanban can help you to manage your inventory, that is incoming inventory, or the in-process inventory, or outgoing inventory, uh, that is basically raw material, WIP, and finished good. So how this uh, inventory management can be done by Kanban and uh, you can reduce the inventory cost. The seventh thing we'll be focusing on is implementation of first in first out by Kanban. So FIU4 first in first out is one of uh, the major uh, system that uh, manufacturing company tries to try to implement, uh, but sometimes successful and sometimes unsuccessful. So we'll be discussing with some example and simulation that how Kanban will help you to implement FIFO. The last thing that we'll be discussing in this uh, up in the upcoming workshop is basically, uh, shall we need a Kanban card for implementation of Kanban or uh, do we require a physical uh, paper printout uh, system, paper printout Kanban 
for implementation of it. So you know, we'll discuss uh, in detail about that, how Kanban can be implemented without being restricted to a physical card. So these are the eight things that we'll be covering in the upcoming session. And uh, I look forward for your participation and uh, look forward to host you there. And uh, thank you for watching this short video and uh, please let us know your feedback. Thank you so much.